Well, it's the end of Rally Germany 2012. We're with the Yazid Racing Team and Michael Orr, co-driver to Yazid Al Raji. Michael, it was a difficult start to Rally Germany for you guys. Tell us what happened on Friday. Yeah, like you say, disappointing start. Three Ks into the first stage. Started at quite a nice speed and just got caught out in one gravelly corner. It was blind over a crest and couldn't see the corner. And I think there was more gravel than we expected and probably the note wasn't wasn't perfect. We should have had more information to cut more. And which meant we ended up on the loose stuff and sl slid a little bit wide and touched the rear wheel on a on a small curb. And we thought we had punctured, but actually it had bent the rear suspension. So it, it was pretty undrivable at that point. So no point to try to carry on and still three more stages to go. So we just retired the car then. You retired the car from leg one, or from day one, as we call it now. Back under rally two on Saturday and Sunday. I was watching your times out there. Took Yazid a couple of stages, obviously, to get into the rhythm because it was a bit tricky. It was quite slippery. It was quite wet at times, but the the pace was there. The stage times came, and Friday, take that day out. Saturday and Sunday were good days for you guys. Yeah, I think more than mission accomplished, really. Obviously, Friday was a small mistake and we were heavily punished for it but certainly Saturday Sunday I think we've we've enjoyed a very good test session because very mixed conditions some really hot dry on a hard tire with a very stiff setup and also some wet on the soft tire with a soft car and and I think our pace has been very consistent whatever the conditions so that's the biggest positive for us we've we've obviously got Sebastian Auger as a benchmark in a similar car and He's driving always consistently at a very high level and so that's a very good benchmark for us and we were able this weekend to stay at a, at a similar speed no matter what the conditions so that was a real positive for us. So not completing all the stages but did you see good progress in Yazid's driving this weekend? Sure, it, the more we do the more relaxed he feels. Um, okay we had a very good test last week for two days uh, but I found a very good setup with the car but unfortunately in 40 degree heat and blazing sunshine on a dry road so certainly yesterday morning was a bit of a an eye-opener for us but now oh, very quickly we, we made some small changes to the car yesterday morning fortunately we made a late call and and took the soft tire which was the for sure the correct choice and actually the car was working very good even in the wet and our pace yesterday morning in the wet was was really quite good so uh, all in all quite happy and the next round is Rally GB in a few weeks time back onto the gravel for that looking forward to heading to Wales yeah, I think GB. It's uh, it's like my home home event, really. It's the rally I've done most in the in the championship, and and I think for Yazid, we we were there last year, the first time with a Fiesta, with the S two thousand Fiesta, and the pace was was probably better than we had hoped for. So always easier to go back for a driver the second time. Unfortunately, this year it's normally just the first time for him in every race. So GB this year will be second time and. We now have a very good feeling with the car, a very good setup, and we're confident, and the whole team's working very, very well together. So, yeah, it's feeling's positive for GB. Michael, we look forward to seeing you, Yazid, and the Yazid Racing Team in Wales. Looking forward to it. Thank you, Colin.